welcome back to another video in this video i'm going to show you how i do the african thread and metal to stretch my thin thang hair uh, i've got a few requests from you guys to do this uh, method and uh, to be honest this is my first time that i'm actually uh, consciously doing it to stretch my hair uh, as a kid uh, my mom used to do it on my hair just as a hairstyle i don't think it was necessary to stretch my hair it was just as a hairstyle but now I've seen all over the internet that people are using it to strip their hair and I've got a few requests from you guys to try it and see how it comes out on my hair. So I'm going to do just that. Uh, for that uh, I am going to use this thread. This is just a thread that we use to uh, uh, sew. Uh, it's not necessarily the special African thread because I don't have that. I have uh, my comb here and you obviously need a scissors as well. I'm going to use this product uh, for my hair. I pre pulled my hair last night and I washed it this morning and I used a conditioner to, uh, detangle, it, to, to detangle it this morning and I'm going to go ahead and apply my leave-in conditioner and on top of that I'm going to apply my Jamaican black castor oil so uh, that's what I'm going to use uh, for uh, this um, stretch it method I think it's important to use some kind of thick uh, leave-in conditioner and a thick oil so that uh, so that your hair does not come out dry when it's totally stretched so the plan is when it's totally stretched i'll go ahead and style it there and i'll let you guys uh, see uh, probably also in this video or maybe in my next video i'm not sure yet so yeah this is my hair i started recently i started towel uh, i started uh, t-shirt drying my hair so this is how my hair is looking like I will link up here somewhere uh, the video where you can see how I uh, uh, wash my hair and how I pre poo uh, my hair and all those basically my hair routine. So this is how my hair is looking like. So I'm going to go ahead and start. I, my hair is naturally always put into two sections if not four sections because that's how I work with my hair. And I'm going to try and uh, make it, uh, I'm not going to make it too uh, big because I don't want it to take forever to dry. So I'm just going to make, I think I'm just going to do three sections here and three at the back. And then three here and then three at the back, I think. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. this hairstyle make sure that your hair is uh, really detangled otherwise your hair will stretch out and it's uh, but it will come out really tangled and you don't want that as well so this is the section that I'm going to begin with I'm going to begin with this section and afterwards I will make this into two sections and that will be pretty much uh, it for that part so I'm going to add my uh, counter shea butter I'll link all uh, my uh, hair products in the description box so make sure to check that out because I always get a question where I got my products from. And then I go ahead and add just a little bit of uh, Jamaican black custard oil. But you don't want to use too much because it will contribute to, to it drying really slow. So I just go ahead and use just like that. Oh, that is even too much. My son is playing right behind me, so you might hear some kind of things, but that is him. And then I take the thread. I do not double the thread because I don't want it to take uh, forever to dry. So I'm just going to use it as it is. I hold it like this, I leave like a bit like that and then I go around it just so I secure it so it, do it doesn't come off or it doesn't slide out or something so I just go around like this I also make sure that I'm not tightening my scalp too I'm not tightening the hair uh, close to my scalp too tight because it will end up giving you headache and you end up taking the hair uh, quicker out of uh, you end up taking the 
the method uh, out really quick before it's even having the chance to dry so make sure to make uh, here a bit loose so that you don't get headache but also not too loose that you just see your hair uh, your that it doesn't stretch yeah so it's important to secure the base really good because otherwise it will just slide down so I make sure I go around a few uh, bits Some people also twist the base before they start, but I don't do that. So now I go down and I slide my finger as I go down. So what this palm is doing is actually stretching the hair while this is going around it. So that you get the maximum stretch off out of your hair with this method. It's just like when you're stretching your hair and blow drying it. you have all this uh, thread left so I just uh, fold it up like so like this with one of my uh, little finger and then I go around it again just so that just so that I avoid uh, making um, uh, a knot uh, there because then when I'm taking it out I wouldn't know where my hair stops and where uh, the thread stops so in this case when I'm taking it out I just pull uh, on this and everything comes down. So this is how the end look like, like this. So if I'm taking it out I'll just pull this down and then I will uh, and then everything will come out. So this is how the first one look. I'm going to go ahead and finish the rest. <music> how it came out I must say that this is not a method that I'm going to be following in the future to stretch my hair out because I think it's very time-consuming and it's also a bit uh, it's not the easiest thing to do because turning uh, the thread around the whole time makes my poles uh, and my fingers hurt and all those things so uh, I'm just trying it out because you guys requested it but I don't think that unless I get like uh, I get a result that will blow my mind then I will do it in the future so this is how it came out I even ended up doing this part two instead of doing it uh, three because I was just tired and I don't know yet if it's worth it or not so I'm just going to let this uh, dry I don't know how long it's going to take for it to dry so I will come back and let you know how long it took for it to dry So my hair took about 3 hours to totally dry, even then I wasn't too sure whether it's uh, dry but taking uh, taking the threads out made me notice that it is dry. The only thing I didn't really like is how my ends uh, felt like, they were pretty stuck together and I think this is because maybe I used too much uh, Jamaican black castor oil, I'm not too sure but I will consider that uh, when you are trying this uh, method as well.
I really love the way it came out. It came out uh, more fluffier than if I would have uh, blow dry it. So I think uh, it's pretty uh, a good method, but I don't think I'll be repeating it in the future just because it's too much uh, time consuming and uh, it also hurts my hands to be turning the threads around the whole time. As you can see, my hair came out pretty fluffy and uh, it was pretty stretched out as well. So I really uh, love the results. And uh, I went ahead and uh, did uh, some twists on my hair and I bound to knotted it afterwards. I like to do bunsen knots on my hair when it's stretched out because it gives me really nice uh, wavy curls that I really like. It makes my hair bouncy and makes my hair appear thicker and that's why I like to do bunsen knots on my hair when it's stretched out. Let me know what you think about this uh, method of stretching your hair and let me know if you've tried it out before. Thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you in my next video.